In this tutorial in Microsoft Excel, we're going to show you how to avoid having negative numbers when your lower limit has to be zero, not a minus. Let me show you an example of how we do that. I have a formula here where we calculate the bonus for employees. If an employee sells more than five widgets, they earn $25 per widget. So in the case of Fred, he sold seven, and so he winds up with a $50 bonus. If we look at the formula in the formula bar of cell C5, we see how we calculated it. We took the value of B5, which happens to be seven widgets Fred sold, and we subtract our threshold number, which is cell D1, giving us a result of two. And then we take that number and we multiply it by our bonus per unit stored in cell D2, which gives us $50. Now you notice um, I use the dollar sign in front of D1 and D2 to give absolute reference. We have a lesson on that. But what that means is that if we copy the formula, it always looks in those two cells. It will not move down or across to find a cell to copy in the formula. It looks like everything is fine here until we try to copy the formula. I will click on the little handle at the lower right and I will copy this formula down three cells. And it looks good until I hit Sandy. Now I have a negative number. And I should because 4 minus 5 is a minus 1 multiplied by 25 is a minus $25. Let's fix that. I'm going to undo that copy. We'll go back to our original formula and we'll use an if statement. We're going to say if and then we have to set up a condition. I'll use a left bracket. If we want um, the widget sold I'll click on cell B5. If that is greater than, then I'll click on cell D1. Then I'll do a comma. So that's my condition. So if the widget sold is greater than the threshold, then our formula runs. That's the value if true, you notice here. Now we'll put a comma in. Now we'll have the value if it's false. Well, if it's false, I want the cell to, to, to show me simply the number zero. So I'll put the number zero in, and then I'll put the right bracket in and close my formula. So that's how we modify it for a negative number. I'll put enter and lock the formula in. So we click here and we have the our new condition if, and then we run our formula. If it's not true, it will hit zero. Let's see what happens when we copy our formula down. Oh, it looks really good. We have 50 here, 0 here, we have 100 here, and 375 below. But let's see what happens if we change our bonus to, say, 15. Now, I still have a negative number here. What is going on? Our formula still has an error in it. So I'm uh, going to go back to my fir first box and look at my formula again, see what I did. I said, this says, if B5 is greater than D1, okay, but look here, if I, when I copied it down, it said, now if B6, 4 is greater than D2, which is $25. What I forgot to do when I did my formula, and this is very common, is whenever I refer to this cell here, I have to make my formula absolute as well. Not only the if statement has to be right, I'll put the dollar sign in here and the dollar sign in here and press enter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is delete the values here and we'll go back and change our number to five. Okay, so this is right. Now if I take my formula and I copy it down three cells, okay, it's right. Now if I change my threshold back to 15, now it's right. So I have to make sure when I'm editing a formula referring to a, an absolute reference that I make sure not only in the original formula do I use the dollar signs, I have to use it in the if statement. 
This will help you from introducing some unexpected errors when it comes to Microsoft Excel. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle. And as you've seen, it's very easy to create a formula that seems to work until you start copying it to other cells. We hope this tutorial has given you more insight into how to create accurate formulas and get the kind of results you want. If you found this tutorial useful, please like us. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive new lessons as they become available. Thank you.